Pistons fans at? Where my Pistons fans? Where are my Pistons fans? Where they at, though? Where my Pistons fans at? Man. Close game. Pistons versus the Raptors right now. We're about three and some change to go in the game. Pistons are up by three. Playing really good defense. They were trailing 19. Man, now the Pistons are only up by one point right now. Dwayne Casey's former team. Oh, man. The Pistons were down by like 19 points in this game. Oh, my goodness. Down 19. Now they're up. Clutch points by Stanley Johnson. Clutch defense by Stanley Johnson. Blake Griffin's been killing it. I mean, Blake Griffin has like 28 points in this game right now. You know, Reggie Jackson was coming through too as well. They, I thought this game was over with. I turned it off. I turned it back on. I'm like, oh my goodness. Even went grocery shopping too. I look at my phone and there's people hitting me up talking about some, the pisses came back. The pisses came back. Oh my goodness. 100. The score is 100. To 99 with three minutes of some change to go in this game. This is a competitive game. The Pistons are at Toronto. They're not at home. They're at Toronto. And this has been literally a battle. Just a huge battle to go in this game. Man. I didn't think that the Pistons was going to like do anything. I didn't think the Pistons was going to... When I saw the first half of the game, I gave up. I gave up. I'm like, this is about to be a blowout. And then I go grocery shopping, and people hit me up on my phone. I'm like, I got to hurry up and get back home and look at this game. And they're down, or they're up by one point with three minutes to go in this game. If you're a Pistons fan, you have to be excited. If you're a Pistons fan, you have to be excited about this game. Man. What up? What's going on, Golden Boy? Man. Uh-oh. This is crazy. Listen. Three minutes to go in the game. 100 to 99. I'm telling y'all right now, like, the Pistons came back by 19 points. What up, Madden? This is just crazy. If Dwayne Casey wins... His first game against Toronto, this would be a deal breaker. I mean, who would have thought this? Who would have thought this? I mean, where are my Pistons fans at? Where, where are we at? Where, where are we at? And another thing I want to talk to y'all about is what do y'all feel about the Pistons going after Carmelo Anthony? What are your thoughts on that? I wanted to do a video on the Pistons going after Carmelo Anthony. What are your thoughts? Huh? Should the Pistons go after Carmelo Anthony? What up? I think they should. Uh, the Pistons. How is that a bad decision? Explain. The Pistons don't have anything to lose. That Jimmy Butler trade. The, the, um, for Jimmy Butler to go to the Sixers, that's, that's a game changer. Like, that just became, the East just became more competitive. I honestly, man, it just gave Kawhi Leonard a clear path foul. So he goes to the line, plus the Toronto Raptors get to get the ball back. So this is just crazy. So they get points and they get the ball back. This is horrible. Whoa. Whoa. Kawhi Leonard missed a free throw, 100 to 99. All right, tied up. It's tied up, guys. 100 to tied up. 100, 100 to 100 to go in this game. This is this is a nail biter right now, guys. This is a nail biter. Where my Pistons fans at though? Where my Pistons fans at? Ooh, Kawhi Leonard just traveled. Pistons ball. Pistons ball. Pistons go up by two. 
Pistons are about to go up by two. What's going on, Major Slugger? Man, Andre Drummond's been a beast. Andre Drummond has been a beast. 11 points, 14 rebounds by Andre Drummond. Drake, Blake Griffin just got the rebound back. Reggie Jackson brings the ball up. 102-100 to... Two minutes to go in this game. Reggie Jackson at the top of the key. Blake Griffin with the ball. Top of the elbow. Reggie Jackson back to Blake Griffin. Wow. Blake Griffin now has 30 points to go in this game. 104 to 100. Less than two minutes to go in this game, guys. Where are my Pistons fans at? Come on. This is crazy. Pistons ball. Pistons got the rebound. 104 to 100 to a minute 30 to go in this game. The Pistons are up by four. Rebound by Toronto. Toronto's pushing it. Toronto's pushing it. Ah, Lowry gets to the basket. It's, he scores. It's 104 to 102. Reggie Jackson brings the ball up. Fifty-five seconds to go in this game, guys. They call a timeout. What up, Matt? Man, this is tough. What do y'all think about the Pistons going after Carmelo Anthony? The Pistons are playing at Toronto today. What do you guys think about the Pistons going after Carmelo Anthony? Huh? Let me know. I, I want to know y'all thoughts on that. I think the Pistons should go after him. They have nothing to lose. Carmelo can come off the bench and easily score 15 tonight. You know? I, I know that there's some Carmelo haters out there. I know that people don't like Carmelo. I think Car uh, the league in general has... I think it would be, a, I mean, a second-round pick. But I, I'm, I'm not saying give up. You know, I'm not saying give up your whole team. You know, I'm just saying, like... Like, what would you give up for, for for Carmelo Anthony, you know? Like, what would you give up for Carmelo Anthony? I want to know. Like, how many... Where my Pistons fans at? Excuse me, I'm making pasta right now. Where my Pistons fans... Nobody's, I mean, you might be able to give up John Lewis. That might not be a bad deal for a 34-year-old Carmelo Anthony. That's not bad, but John, there's nobody, there's no, nobody's taking that contract. John Lewis making $40 million in his contract, guys. Back to the game. Jump ball, 48 seconds to go in the game. Henry Ellison might be a good deal. Yep, you're right. I, 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 you know, that might not be a bad, uh, bad, bad trade. A second round pick would be a good one too. Yep. I can't show the game because of copyrights. If I show the game, they'll cut me off. You know that. But if I'm at the game, it's a different story because I'm filming my own game. Forty-eight seconds to go in the game. They're trying to see who hit it out last. And the 
They're trying to see who hit it out last, guys. Where my Pistons fans at? They're trying to see who hit it out last. 48 seconds going to game. 104 to 102. This, I know the Pistons salary cap is just ridiculous. Raptors ball? Yeah, it's Raptors ball. Some of y'all might got faster TVs than me. That's what I'm talking about. Henry Ellison's not a bust. He's just a big man. He, he, he'll develop. Don't worry about Henry. If I were if I were the Pistons, I kind of would keep Henry, but that's just me. I I see the Toronto fans. I respect Toronto fans. I, I really do. They put together a really good team over there in Toronto. A really a lot of good young pieces. But y'all messed up when y'all got rid of Dwayne Casey. Y'all done messed up when y'all got rid of Dwayne Casey. And Dwayne Casey is a player's coach. First of all, all the players love Dwayne Casey. And the fact that you get rid of Dwayne Casey and you trade the biggest piece over there. You trade the biggest piece over there, DeMar DeRozan. That didn't make sense. Kawhi Leonard's a better player, though. I can understand that. Kawhi Leonard's a better player. I, a, absolutely. Kawhi Leonard's a better player. Toronto is easily a top two team in the uh, in the East right now. Kawhi Leonard makes him one of the best teams in the league. I, hands down, um, Toronto's legit. But I don't think Kawhi Leonard will resign. So if I were them, I would give something for him before they get nothing. Kawhi Leonard just tied this game up. 38 seconds to go in this game. 104 to 104. I don't know. Don't get your hopes up. Here we go. Kawhi Leonard just fouled Blake Griffin. And I think they had a foul to give. Casey's definitely a better coach than Stan Van Gundy. He's a player's coach, too. I can't put the game off because of copyright reasons. Oh, my. Wow. So... I think they just called a foul on Blake Griffin. They just fought, they just called a foul on Blake Griffin. Trying to get a rebound. That doesn't make any sense. That's not a foul. He was going for the ball. Didn't even touch Kyle Lowry. That doesn't make sense. 10 seconds to go in the game. Raptors ball. They called the foul initially. They called the foul initially. They haven't. The officials are talking with each other about it. They're going on commercial. They called the foul initially, but he, I'm pretty sure they're going to take that back because they didn't even touch. They didn't even touch. Uh, Blake Griffin didn't even touch Kyle Lowry, and then they called the foul. That doesn't make sense. But if anything, they should call a jump ball or no foul at all and just give Toronto the ball. I don't know. I don't know. Ten seconds to go in the game, guys. Ten seconds to go in this game. Where are my fan where are the basketball fans at? Because you know I'm a basketball fanatic. By the way, Michigan blew out Villanova today, just so you know. Michigan blown out Villanova today, just so you know. Oh, here goes my Raptor fans. <laughs> My Raptors fans. Raptors. Your TV's faster than mine, Will. Dan Gilbert, please buy the Tigers. Wow. It might happen. You just see Chelly's 
the uh, right off Woodward uh, is is selling their uh, bar. That was like the Tigers' go to, um, you know, tailgate spot. All right, eight seconds, five seconds, four seconds. Kawhi Leonard with the ball. Kawhi Leonard turns the ball over. Two seconds to go in the game. They call another timeout. Uh. I don't know about Raptors winning the finals, but I, th I think they can come out the East for sure. I, and and the, with the problems that's going on with Golden State right now, I don't think Kevin Durant wants to be in Golden State playing with Draymond Green. That's my opinion. You might see uh, Kevin Durant in a Lakers uniform, just so you know. You might see him in a Lakers uniform. Two point. Two two seconds to go in this game. Down. Down. Your TV's faster than mine. Here we go. He might need to leave Golden State for sure. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. 1.2 seconds to go in the game. 1.2 seconds to go in this game, guys. <coughs> wow. One point two seconds to go in this game. This is ball. 1.2 seconds to go in the game. Reggie Bullock for the win. Reggie Bullock scores. Game winner. Oh. Oh. Reggie Bullock. Reggie Bullock. Reggie Bullock. I wish I could show you guys the video, but they will cut me off. Reggie Bullock scores a game winner. Dwayne Casey wins in Toronto. Dwayne Casey wins in Toronto. Oh my goodness. Reggie Bullock hits the game winner. Y'all got to watch the highlight. Oh my goodness. Reggie Bullock. Oh my goodness. Reggie Bullock hits the game winner. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wish I could show y'all. Oh my goodness. Pass came from the man, an uh, inbound. He hurries up, throws it in there, and he wins. I wish I could show you this. They're celebrating right now. They're celebrating on the Toronto Raptors home court. This is unreal. Dwayne Casey wins his first game at Toronto against Toronto. Not his first game, but his first game against Toronto. Wow. 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 Crazy shit. Crazy. Oh, excuse me. Excuse my French. Wow. Wow. 
Oh my goodness, Reggie. Y'all gonna watch it on ESPN tonight. ESPN, probably top 10. Man, Pistons just hit the game winner. They don't need Carmelo Anthony. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, if you're from Detroit, this is crazy. Yo, check this out, guys. If you're from Detroit, if you're from Detroit, and y'all follow me, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to get y'all a Detroit Sports World shirt. Follow me. Follow me on Instagram. DM me if you're from Detroit. And I'll get you a Detroit Sports World shirt. The Detroit Pistons hits the game winner against Toronto Raptors. If you're watching this video, follow me on Instagram, Detroit Sports World. Follow me on Twitter, DET Sports World. Yo, the Pistons needed that win. They were struggling. They went like five games in a row for losing. They bounced back. They beat a superior team. So I'm happy about this. And the Pistons were down 19 points in this game. The Pistons were down 19 points in this game, guys. It was a great win. Pistons still need help, though. They need more depth. They need more scoring. They need more shooting. Man, they, 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 they're they struggling out here, guys. The Pistons. Hey, great week for sports already. Michigan blows out Villanova by like 30. At Villanova, Michigan uh, Pistons beat Toronto at Toronto. And University of Michigan football... You go to uh, Indiana that has to go to the big house. Michigan's top four right now. So, yo, y'all heard it from me, man. It's been a good week so far. It was a bad week last week. Last week, um, Pistons lost to the Hornets, and then the Lions lost to uh, uh, who was that team? The Lions lost to the Bears. Yeah. So it's been a horrible week last week, but this week starting out is pretty good. So, y'all heard it from me. Oh, I'm a huge Michigan State basketball fan, by the way. But I'm, I'm a Michigan fan all the way. Y'all heard it from me. My name is Maurice Lewis. You can follow me on all social medias. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Twitter, DET Sports World. A. Twitter, DET Sports World. Um, Instagram, Detroit Sports World. Bye. Thanks. Hey, Toronto fans, you know I respect you. Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. And follow me on Facebook, Detroit Sports World. I'm out. I got to finish cooking. <laughs> Good night.